All right, let's go ahead and start with Sean Cunningham. Hey, Trey. Um, what was uh, just your thought process uh, kind of coming into tonight, knowing that you were going to be into the starting rotation and what, what was kind of just the thought process you wanted to bring to the team? Uh, I just wanted to be aggressive, um, both uh, on the offensive end and go out there and make plays and, you know, um, show them that this opportunity wasn't going to be, you know, a, a, a whiff in the air and go out there and, you know, produce for the team. And that's what I did. James. Yeah, Trey, your ability to space the floor, just how much is that needed playing alongside uh, guys like Demonis and, and De'Aaron? Uh, I think it helps, you know, both of them out a lot. They like to get to the basket. And, you know, when you have guys on the floor that can do multiple things, shoot and make plays, and it makes it harder on the defense to, to hone in on just those two guys because you have other threats on the floor. Tony, go ahead. Yes, Trey, uh, since the first game that you played, you know, the minutes has been creeping up. It has been uh, trending up. And uh, you finally cracked the uh, starting lineup. Was Did you anticipate anything like that happening when you were trade here that you would get those type of opportunities? Uh, you know, I just I just came with a positive attitude, ready and, and, and willing to do whatever it took to get on the floor. And, and once the opportunity presented itself, I was going to take advantage like I did tonight. And uh, the last couple of games helped me out with uh, figuring out the guys with the minutes and, and what they like to do, where I need to be on the floor to make plays and stuff like that. Brendan, go ahead. Yeah, Trey, the team was struggling a little bit there at the start of the third, and it looked like you kind of took matters in your own hands. What were you seeing there that allowed you to do that? Um, you know, the, the, to start, we just we had to lock down defensively, and that's what we did. Um, that, that helped out a lot. Me just uh, trying to be aggressive, get to the basket, make plays, you know, finish at the rim, and, and that's what that's what happened. And 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 it's all due to our defense. To start on the defensive end, we were able to get stops, and offense, we were able to get whatever we wanted. Chris, Trey, you talked about your mindset coming into this, but what was working for you? Why were you able to, to play so well today? Uh, just being aggressive. You know, I'm I'm a better player when I'm aggressive, uh, trying to get to the basket or or looking for opportunities to make something happen and. You know, whether that's to shoot the three or, or to pull up or get all the way to the ramp. So um, I think that showed tonight that when I'm aggressive, I'm a better player. Jason. Trey, really nice game. Um, take us through your day a little bit, how, you know, you find out and uh, that you're going to start and then how you get yourself kind of in the mindset you want going into this game. Uh, I just found out at, at, at a walkthrough this morning. And I mean, I treated it like every other game, you know, just focused on what I need to do, what I need to bring to the floor and, and go out there and perform. And that's what I did. Tony, go ahead. Yeah, just a real quick question. Uh, Trey, you, you played with big men in this league, you know, from Utah. I, the last person uh, in Detroit, Isaiah Stewart, uh, just want to get your thoughts on, you know, playing alongside Sabonis because I think that was the whole thing uh, that was probably discussed who could play alongside with him on the floor at the same time. You, you're a big man. You're definitely a power forward. But you know, like it was said earlier, you know, you can spread the floor and things. But just want to get your thoughts, your commentary on uh, playing alongside Sabonis. Uh, you know, he's a great player. He's an all-star. You know, uh, everybody knows what he's capable of doing. He's an unselfish player, so it makes it easy to play with him. Um, he's very vocal. You know, he's a good leader and stuff like that. So, you know, um, we played through him offensively. I think that's shown the last five or six games that, you know, we could play through him. He can make plays for himself or for the teammates. So it's it's nice to play with a big like that that's able to make plays for, you know, his teammates and unselfish like that. So I think he's a really good uh, piece in our, in our puzzle. All right, last question, Sean. Trey, I know you guys probably take one game at a time, but looking at just where you are in the standings and just kind of the, what this week kind of holds in store for you guys, does it feel like there's more weight uh, to this week as, as you kind of go forward here? Uh, I think we're just approaching every game one at a time. You know, we, we know what's at stake, but, uh, you know, we can't uh, apply any more pressure than what's needed. We just got to go out there every night and, and play with, you know, the, the urgency that that game is, you know, a win or go home game. And uh, that's what we did tonight. So we just got to continue to do that throughout the throughout the week. All right. Thank you.